Hi. <clears throat> uh, we got a record, a vinyl, a piece of plastic in the mail from my favorite courier service, uh, The Hole. The Hole, very fast shipping from Japan. So nice. Mm. When you get used to waiting two months for something to ship across Pacific, it's always nice when it takes like two days. So, uh, yeah, we got something from Bai, my, which is my great way to participate in Yahoo Auctions, which is a Japanese auction website that you know you don't have access to if you don't live in Japan. Well, you do have access, but you can't use the website normally because it, most sellers would not ship to a uh, non-Japanese address, but Bai basically buys it for you, it's a proxy, and you get the record um, shipped to you, so you basically can participate in all these cool options. So yeah, so I've never had a record in a bag, but uh, it's just a normal record box that got put in a bag. Kwaremono, that means it is, it's a breakable thing. Please be careful. So cute. It has a little bear. Why don't we have that? Why don't we have a little bear on our coastal? Yeah, it's Japan. But yeah, so I got this one just kind of on a whim. Uh, really cheap. It was, uh, this is Rose or Jose uh, by Ijima Mari. She is a Japanese singer, uh, kind of along the lines of idol ish but what sets this album apart is that it was produced by uh Nuichi Sakamoto who is a if you don't know he's from uh Yellow Magic Orchestra which is a very influential uh electronic band I have one of their records uh they're great I love I think all of their albums are have like good songs on them uh and each of their members did a lot of production work for other uh, for other albums, a lot of pop albums, and that kind of produced the genre called techno kayo, which is kind of like uh, electronic pop music. And this falls into that category. So let's check it out. This was, I think, I don't remember how much I bid on it. It was like 1,100 yen, which is like a little $10 or something. So uh, yeah, and no one else bid it on it. So I kind of <laughs> got it. It was a pretty good deal. After shipping, you know, you gotta pay the fees and then after shipping. So it's, in this case, the shipping is actually more than the record, uh, which is kind of annoying, but it's still cheaper than it. I looked on Discogs and it was still cheaper than anything I could have gotten if I purchased it on Discogs. Ooh, it has a very pretty cover. Very cute. Well, not cute. It's kind of scary, actually, but it, it's a very aesthetic cover, I'll say that. Very pink. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Ooh, it's so pretty. And it's in really good condition, too. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a filter. I don't know if it's a pink room or something, but no, I, I just really like that picture. It's a very nice picture. But yeah, it's a Rose Stekini Saitane. So. bloomed nicely marino magic magic mary's her name is maddie maddie's magic yeah it's pretty cool production production arrange sakamoto ryuichi ryuichi sakamoto and zen kyoku sak kyoku sak shisak kyoku i don't know exactly what that means but i think it means all songs uh written by ijima mari she is, you know, a lot of idol type singers. They kind of don't write their own songs, but she did. This is funny. <laughs> As a brightly advertised digital recording. Wow. This digital is the new way to go. No one needs analog. It's funny. Okay. Oh, geez. <laughs> well, that's a little sketchy, but when you're yeah, scary, it was like made so that if it tilted, it would fall out. So make sure you put it in right. That looks good. Let's take it out, I guess. 
Yeah, vinyl records from Japan are as well as scratch. But it was only $10, so I think it's a good deal. And we got a bit of a lyric sheet. Lyrics. Picture of her. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty cute album. Pretty, uh, seems like a, you'd be your standard pop fair. But Sakamoto's production really does kind of make it, I would say. Uh, he's a really good producer. He makes very interesting music. These songs, you know, there's good variety. I wouldn't pay like a large amount of money for it. I would say it's like the best, one of the best Techno Kaya albums. Uh, but it is definitely for the price I got it at. <clears throat> Sorry, for the price I got it at, I think it was a good deal. So that's, that's why I got it. Because, you know, Sakamoto, if you listen to any of his music, you know he's actually pretty serious a lot of the time. Uh, <clears throat> you might know he's a, he plays keyboard for Yellow Magic Orchestra, but he's also a pianist. And uh, he's pretty well known for piano pieces. Nowadays, he's mostly doing film soundtracks. He's still, like in his 80s or 70s. So it's pretty impressive that he's still going strong. And he also, I saw a picture of him wearing Yeezys. So he's keeping it fresh. Uh, but yeah, I can, you can kind of tell this was kind of a fun break for him. Kind of a chance to be a little bit more whimsical and not as serious. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely cool. He did, he played on a ton of albums. I've, I think he played on like one of the Tatsuro Yamashita albums I have. I have played on another one, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, he's kind of a, he's kind of everywhere. Him and Harumi Hosono, they were, they were really omnipresent because they were like the hit making, hit making geniuses, but this time, instead of being kind of generic, they were actually pretty creative and they did some uh, really cool things. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, new Japanese vinyl record. These are my favorite things to get. Um, so, you know, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, please subscribe or uh, not. I don't care. Just kidding, I do care. Please subscribe. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.